Okay, so after I released my video on cracking WPA, WPA2 passwords, uh, a couple people are asking, like, James, where do I get my own word list, or how do I create my own word list so I can run it against a four-way handshake? So I'm just going to do a quick little video on uh, a few programs to create a word list for you, and then other options of piping these programs into Aircrack, so you don't have to generate a word list, you can just let that program take the words that it's creating and automatically use it in Aircrack and G. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you one program here. It's called Crunch. Now uh, Crunch doesn't really have much of a, a help page even if you do dash H. This is pretty much all you're going to get. So you have to look in the man pages. So the manual pages for Crunch. So man, Crunch. And then you can pretty much go through here and it's going to tell you uh, a lot of the options and then you can read and, and specify it to uh, to what you're looking for and, and what kind of word list you're creating so pretty much as you can see here crunch 1.8 it's going to make a, a password a minimum length of 1 um, max password length of 8 and then it's going to you know the word list is going to start at A and uh, end at Z, 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 or Z, 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 whatever you like to call it and then it just goes through a bunch of options. So if you want to run a uh, password length, uh, minimum of four, max of five, the dash P option, A, B, C, it's just going to swap the A, B, and C over and over and over. So I'll go ahead and uh, you have to hit Q to get out of the man pages if you don't know that. And I'll clear the screen up and uh, I'll show you some examples. So I know my password for my uh, my WPA2 for my router is D6E1F8CON. So if we wanted to create a word list to go against this password with crunch, what we can do is, is we'll go crunch, and then since the password I know is, is 9, I'll go a minimum of 9 and a max of 9. Now you may not know, so you can go, you know, a minimum of 8 since WPA and WPA2 don't allow passwords less than 8 characters long and then you can set it to whatever you think the user's password is so I can go okay well I have a D I have a E, F, a C, O and an N in the password and I also have the numbers 6, 1 and 8 so what it's going to do is it's going to use these specific letters D, E, F, C, O, N and the specific numbers 6, 1, 8 and then I'll use the O option and I'm going to save it to my desktop to a file called mylist.lst and it's going to go ahead and it's going to tell you the size so it's 3694 megabytes or 3 gigs and then crunch is going to go ahead and it's going to go ahead and generate the, the word list and as you can see here so 6% completed you know 8 and whatnot so I'll let it go ahead and uh, and create that and then I'll get back to you when it's done okay so now that the the password list is uh, is finished completing I can go ahead and use this list that I created against my four-way handshake and attempt to to crack the password so I can show you that the the password is in the list that I created because it goes through every possible uh, combination so we can do that with a grep and and then my password d6 e1 f8 c o n and then my uh, my word list that I created so root some desktop my list so it's going to go ahead and it's going to search for my password and it's going to tell me what line it is the line it's on so as you can see the word the password is in the list and then this is the line that it's on so we can go ahead and we can run aircrack dash ng slash w for our password and then the location and then our pcap file which I saved mine as defcon dash one oh I spelt it wrong aircrack ng and it's going to go ahead and it's going to use our word list that we just created until it finds a password so another thing we can do, instead of creating a 3 gig file on my, uh, on my desktop, if we don't have the room, 
is we can we can use the output of crunch and pipe it directly into aircrack so it's not creating a file it's just going to use the words on the fly that it creates so we can go crunch uh, and I'm gonna specify uh, some different options here just to change things up I'm gonna use the dash F option and then I'm going to use uh, the character set that comes with crunch as you can read about that in the man pages so it's it's located at user share crunch and then uh, character list so then I can say I want to use mix alpha and then numeric so that's going to use letters and numbers so then I'm going to pipe that into air crack I'm going to use the dash B option and I'm going to insert my MAC address of the access point dash E for the name of the access point, the ESSID. And then I'm also going to uh, use the dash W option as we're using like a password list and we're just going to use a blank dash. Then uh, that's the way you do it when you're piping in to Aircrack. And then our four-way handshake. So defcon.cap. So as you see, it's going to go ahead and it's going to take the output from Crunch and it's going to feed it directly in and then we're just going to use those words that Crunch is creating instead of creating a, a file on our desktop that you know we may not have the room for. So it's going to go ahead and do that and then it will eventually find the password maybe maybe not. Um, I did not add special characters in but you can do that also. Uh, another great program is uh, is called John the Ripper. It's uh, it's by far one of the best uh, password cracking programs out there to use. Uh, I'll let you explore it on your own. But I'll show you how we can pipe that also into Aircrack. And it has, a, it has an option called incremental, which is going to try every single possible combination. And it's set default at eight characters. Uh, you can set the min and max if you're, if you're not going after WPA, if you want to do it after against something else. So we'll go ahead and we'll type in John, and then incremental. And then here we can specify options as uh, alpha, or we can do all. Uh, there's also all num, so I'll go with that. And then we're going to pipe it to standard out. And uh, we'll pipe that into, so air crack, dash ng, again the dash b our MAC address of the access point, uh, E, the name of the access point, and then dash W, and then our, our four-way handshake. So DEF CON. And it's going to go ahead, and every possible password combination that John is creating is going to be sent into Aircrack, and it's going to start trying to crack the password on there. As you can see here, it's, uh, it's trying bunch of different combinations uh, for for downloading your own your own word list uh, it's just as e easy as a Google search uh, I'm sure we all know what uh, Pirates Bay is uh, if you go to uh, the pirate bay.org and you type in WPA uh, word lists there's a couple options in there and you can download it with uTorrent so that's pretty much sums up uh, two different ways on creating a, a word list and saving it to your, your desktop or just piping it right into Aircrack and, uh, and going from there. So um, now you can crack your, your WPA, WPA2 passwords in a matter of minutes or uh, years. So, so have fun.